Right. Thank you all so much for joining us. I hope you all can um, hear me. Um, yes, if you can hear me, please chat in the in the chat box. You know, type a one so that I can confirm that you can hear me, and then we'll take it up from there. Yes, and if you can hear me as well, please also indicate where you're joining this conversation from. If you can hear me in the chat box on Zoom, please chat and type a one. Um, and also on Facebook, chat as well and tell us where you're jo joining us from before we get started. Okay, I think we can get started. Um, let me just be sure that everyone can type. Let me be sure that everyone can send in a message. Okay. Okay, everyone can chat now. So if you're in the chat group, just test it out and let me know. Type a one. Okay, cool. Cool. Thank you so much. I can see your messages. Um, thank you all so much for joining us and happy new year to you all. I think we'll get started in about one minute. I see Israel, I see Abdul Malik, I see Nicholas, I see Ayodele, I see Shaibu, I see Luca, Haruna, I see Yusuf, I see Okome, I see Efiang, I see so many people. Jamilu, good to have you guys on the call. Yes, we'll get started shortly. Um, yeah. Maybe tell me just in a second or two how, how your new year has been so far in terms of, you know, trading crypto. Have you resumed trading? Have you resumed, you know, anything in crypto? Please pay, specify. Wow, the, the God says I'll resume trading from next week. Cool. <laughs> Luca said I'm not yet trading, investing only. Cool. You know, Jamilu says the market is disappointing. That's also cool. Okay. Somebody says I've re resumed my dollar cost averaging on blue chip. Okay, cool. You know, somebody says, Michael says, I've never been on break. <laughs> That's also very cool. Um, some people don't go on break, right? Um, somebody said, I started trading since the first of the year. Okay, that's cool as well. Um, let me see if there are any comments on Facebook as well. Okay, Jane, Jamilu, and Milky are on Facebook. Hi, guys. Good to have you. Okay, let's get straight to the conversation so that you know we we stay on time all right 
So let me pause this music and then go straight to it. So, you know, at intervals, I'll be taking, I'll be asking questions, you know, and then taking some of your feedback on uh, the conversation. But basically, uh, this is the Binance Newbie walkthrough for Western Africa. And this particular conversation is going to be a lot more, you know, for the, the Nigerian guys, right? Guys on, in Nigeria, generally for everyone in West Africa, you know, as the weeks progress in this new year, we'll try to have separate calls for each country so that we handle and we tackle issues that pertain to you as users from a particular country, right? Um, so first of all, really excited to be on the conversation today. Let me build up my screen. Um, really excited for us to be having this, you know, conversation today, because this is the first newbie walkthrough of the year, and the way we have structured it this year is such that we would have, you know, some form of rewards for all of our attendees as much as possible, you know, when they complete simple, simple tasks, right? So, um, today's conversation would be a little lengthy. But I'll try to do a I'll try to do a quick summary because most of us are already into the ecosystem, right? So we'll be looking about at the fundamentals of blockchain and cryptocurrency. We'll would look at you know a quick intro to the Binance ecosystem. We we'll look at how to register your account. We we'll look at how to verify your account. We we'll look at how to buy crypto with P2P and Cash Link. We we'll look at two programs that any of us can participate in and you know uh be a very solid contributor to the binance ecosystem the binance affiliate program and the binance angels program what are the differences and what are the benefits of each and then we'll look finally at how to secure your account in a in a season where a lot of you know um crypto hacks a lot of sad news around blockchain and cryptocurrencies are going out you want to be able to safeguard yourself from all of the possible scam and hacks. And then we'll take a few questions and answers in the end. So let's dive in very quickly. And then I want you guys to be my timekeeper, right? So if I spend too much time, buzz me on the chat so that you keep me on track. So then, I mean, the first question for people who are very new to the ecosystem is what is blockchain, right? Um, Blockchain is a distributed ledger, a, a distributed database, you know, that is able to store information, you know, and make it available to everyone per time, you know, and, you know, there's no, um, there's no a possibility to alter the information already stored on that database. So it's a ledger that stores information you know, information can be transaction, can be documents, whatever it is, you know, as far as it's a blockchain, it stores it in a decentralized manner that makes the information available to everyone and makes it tamper proof. Nobody can alter what has been uploaded to that database, right? So um, blockchain basically, you know, some of the information we talk about can be money, documents, all forms of digital data that you know, can now be made to be tamper-proof within the, the system. Um, so we've, 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 we've confirmed that it's a distributed ledger database. You know, it's a chain of linked blocks. So each database is linked to the previous block where it now, you know, makes for, you know, it to be very trackable. You know, you can backlink um, to see this block is originating from the previous blog, you know, and then we know that it's a special type of, you know, um, um, ledger. And then what then is cryptocurrencies? So since one of the things that is stored on the blockchain is cryptocurrencies and cryptocurrency seems to be a kind of money, it's one of the things you want to talk about first when you hear the blockchain, the blockchain, the blockchain, right? People want to jump in and talk about um, cryptocurrencies. People want to have an understanding of what then is cryptocurrency. So cryptocurrency is a digital form of money. Every one of us already knows that, right? The digital form of money um, um, protected by some form of cryptography. Um, 
it can't be duplicated or destroyed. Um, it has a distributed P2P network, peer-to-peer -peer network, and then it is not, you know, geopoly ge ge it's not actually um it is borderless very simple terms it is very borderless right um and then what is the first what what is bitcoin bitcoin is the first cryptocurrency that was created you know um is kind of like the father of the of, of cryptocurrencies it is it has a transparent feature transparent feature such that you know whatever is being done on the Bitcoin blockchain is open to all. If you have a Bitcoin, you know, and you sent it to, to me, maybe for Happy New Year, you know, just to tell me Happy New Year, it shows that it was actually sent to me. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that. I hope you guys can still hear me. Um, so it is actually transparent, like I said. It is also, um, guys, please try as much as possible not to drop your emails on the chat box for your own privacy, right? Do not drop your emails on the chat box um, so that somebody doesn't take it and spam you. All right, so that's one of the things you're talking about, safety, safety of your wallet and everything. All right, so. Bitcoin, like I was saying, is transparent. It is a scarce commodity. In other words, you know, it's going to, one of the reasons why Bitcoin has so much value is because it is scarce, right? And it is open source. You know, you can build on the Bitcoin blockchain. Um, you can build on the, the network. You can, you know, some people can have forked the Bitcoin network before. To fork a network means to, you know, build a side chain, you know, from the originating chain. That's actually too much of long stories, right? But it is open source. That means some people can you go and use the code, you know, and build something out of it. And it is censorship resistance. That means no singular entity or government body can regulate, you know, can censor the activity on the Bitcoin blockchain. This is one of the reasons why it is borderless, right? It is not bound by any geopolitical region, right? And then we also know that it's a digital form of money protected by cryptography, all of that put together. So the next question that is always asked is who created Bitcoin? If you take a masterclass, you know, the first thing you'll be asked is who created this, this cryptocurrency, you know, because it has gone far and wide across the globe. People want to know who, where it originated from, who it originated from, right? Um, you first know that it is pseudonymous. It's, it's definitely a pseudonymous uh, product. Um, and it is considered to have been created by somebody called Satoshi Nakamoto. Now, the problem is we don't know if this is a person or a group of persons, right? And uh, since the person or a group of persons created this, they you know installed everything that has to do with the features of Bitcoin into what is called the white paper, right? So definitely you want to know that, oh, Satoshi, was, Satoshi Nakamoto was a person or a group of persons that came together to institute or to create the first cryptocurrency, you know, in the world today, you know, the Bitcoin. And one of the solutions that they wanted to solve was the, the, the problem of double spending, right? There was this big issue where people could send out an information where an information could be sent out twice. And, you know, it was a, it was a big problem, right? Because you should, if you were to spend, let's say you were to spend some monies on textbook back in school and you made the first payment and it did not confirm on the receiver's end, you know, you'd have, you'd be forced to make another payment. In fact, what we're experiencing sometimes with using POS machines where after trying to pay for some groceries you got at the store, 
um, it is declined, but you are debited, right? And you have to spend that money again, right? So one of the you know solutions of the Bitcoin blockchain is to prevent the idea of double spending your um on any transaction, right? Um, it was actually launched in um um 20 uh 2009, you know, and a lot of stories around the Bitcoin and the blockchain network, which then brings us to you know why we're here today because uh Binance is one of the exchanges pushing for crypto adoption across the world. Binance is the world's leading blockchain and cryptocurrency infrastructure provider. Um, we have you know over six, seven hundred pairs uh, and, and crypto assets on the exchange that are tradable and have high liquidity. Um, like I said, we rank number one, you know, and it took Binance 165 days to get to position number one across the globe. You know, when, once Binance launched, Binance launched at 40, at 10th. On the 42nd day, Binance was 10th in the world. On the 92nd day, Binance was, was fifth. You know, on the uh, a few days later, Binance became 100 and uh, the number one, right? So Binance has been there from, from over five years now. Binance has been, you know, up and running over five years now, has about 50%, you know, liquidity, um, um, market volume on, you know, major listings, right? You know, and has approximately, you know, seven six um billion dollars spot trading volumes, you know, um on a daily basis, right? And these are average numbers, right? So if you look at this, you'd see um the Binance ecosystem, right? Binance has built a lot of products, Binance continues to innovate. You know, you know, Binance is more than an exchange, right? We have built one of the most comprehensive blockchain ecosystem in the world. You know, from core exchange service to education and then also to incubation. So basically, Binance is looking to to provide is basically the um um the wants to be the biggest infrastructure pro provider for blockchain today, right? Um, if you look at the the ecosystem, you see a lot of services, a lot of projects that have churned out of Binance over the years. So and then the mission at Binance is to keep things very cheap to make them faster and then to make them also very safe, right? To re reduce um, risks, you know, using the escrow systems that we have built to make it faster using, you know, um, um, networks that are very fast compared to the Bitcoin network. And then to make it, make things very free. We've, we've seen how we've made things very cheap, if not free using Binance, you know, pay and then trading at zero fees on BTC and ETH on Binance Exchange. So the next question is how to register on Binance. I'm very sure that the majority of us have already registered on Binance as of today, but just in case you haven't registered on Binance, I'm going to rush through, through this one. Um, how to register on Binance, right? First of all, sign, go to binance.com. That's the site at the top, top right www.binance.com to um, try and register. And then you would click on sign up using your email or phone. Um, once you click on that, you'd see you know, the option to provide your email and then create a password. If you're using a friend's you know, um, registration link, you'd see that the friend could have some possible kickback you know, or commissions from you using his link. And then, you know, you can provide your, your verification to the email address you have imputed. So if you send us an email address, you'll be required to provide the verification on that. You know, and then once you get go back to your email, you'll find the, the, the message from Binance showing you your, your verification code. Copy the code, paste it out in your, um, your Binance app, and then you would have access to your account. You know, if you... Ex if you encounter any challenges, you basically want to you basically want to um, reach out to the support, you know, to help solve your problems. Um, you can check your junk and spam folder if you find out that 
some of the information are not coming through to your inbox check your junk and spam you know um if you still having issues you can chat to life support you know um, life support will support you as much as possible and then you want to prepare for the next step which is the account verification in the account verification you need your id documents um you know identification documents government issued identification documents you need your passport id card or driver's license depending on where you are you need a selfie and a headshot you know to pass verification so basically passing verification means going to your profile um clicking on you know um the profile icon there and going straight down to um identification once you click on identification you'll be given this um dashboard and then you just need to click on personally verify your details you know and you you know you basically be able to complete that verification details okay i think that's basically that on you know how to complete kyc the next thing you want to look out for is how to possibly deposit into your accounts how to deposit into your crypto account um and that's what brings us to p2p as a product right so um for this particular segment i would definitely want to show us using a live um a live demonstration so as you can see this is my 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 account and my dashboard all you need to do is you know once you're given verification or verified if you have the status verified you can easily navigate to making your first deposit you know on binance right in this case we want to navigate from gbp gbp shows the region is pounds i want to navigate from that to the country of my residence right which is ngn and i select ngn i'll see all the buy crypto options on ngn now the first option take note of this option because at the end of this conversations we'll do out a very quick you know tax that would require you to you know um win some rewards in fact before we go ahead i'll just make available a form to everyone on the call uh this form is basically to help you stand the chance to win uh, this week's giveaway. Um, I'll just copy this form and paste it in the chats. Um, okay. I'll paste it in the chat for everyone to try and you know access it. So the form basically gives you the opportunity to send us your details, your Binance UID. Let me send it on Facebook as well. Um, send us your details um you know of registration especially if you're registered on kyc uh yeah send it to us and we'll be able to uh track your activities the simple tax on this form is to join the call which you have done join our telegram community binance telegram community is binance nigeria uh just one binance nigeria the verified community um join the community and then you know make a this is make a 5000 naira you know fiat deposit using cash link yeah make a 5000 naira deposit using cash link and then you're good to go right so that's basically the tax for you join the uh, community make a 5000 naira deposit using cash link and you know you stand a chance to be among the top you know people to win our cashback our rebate so look at how to use binance and um, cash link right how to deposit using cash link cash link basically shows you to deposit um naira for naira right you are depositing ngn for ngn so if i were to make a deposit on you know using cash link I basically would be required to, you know, select, click on cash link, buy crypto with cash link, um, select the currency I want to buy with, in this case, Naira, select bank transfer cash link, and then click on continue. 
right? Um, you click on continue and then you select the amount you intend to buy crypto with. As it stands, you can, the least you can buy with is a thousand naira. But for our promotion, for this particular newbie walkthrough, you are required to buy with at least 5,000 naira to be able to stand a chance to qualify, right? So if you want to buy cryptocurrencies, in this case, just type in the amount. Remember, the first step is to select cash link and you know buy with cash link transfer next step is to select the amount you want to buy and then you can click on the continue button this is the simplest way to buy ngn to bring ngn into your account right in this case you'd see a lot of you know merchants this is a fiat p2p option right where users who are interacting are only interacting with other users who are buying and selling Right. So if you want to deal with any of these, are, when, whenever you have, you know, your amount selected, you'll see that you're not your next option is to choose from the list of merchants that are provided to you. Right. What you see here in terms of merchant details is you see this Nasarun. He completes, he charges 150 Naira per every deposit for my category, my deposit category. Yes. And then I definitely would receive about 4,850 Naira on my deposit. And currently, it's showing me that he has processed at least 3,129 orders at present. And he has about 97% completion rate. That means it's almost as fast as the speed of light. And then, Huzaf, Huzaf does a similar trading fee at, he has done about 2,000 plus you know, others, and then he has done all of them in record time. So I can choose from any of them because some of them are actually going to deliver. Some of them are just starting out like that. And these, Danaz is just starting out. You know, he has a few others, but he still has a good completion rate, right? In all you do, try not to, you know, hurriedly cancel your orders as it may affect your transaction in the close future. Right. Okay. So um, I hope you guys on Facebook are also with us. If you have questions, drop your comments. I'll do well to check. All right. So once you you have confirmed who you want to trade with, you click on you know the details and you know send a request to trade with the user. Right. Send a request to you know complete a trade with him. And what happens is I'll see some details with which to make payments to, right? So here you're sending out payments to his bank account. So what I'll do is I'll quickly make that payment so that before we are done with the conversation, he would have, you know, credited me the NGN to my position, right? Yeah, so he uses that bank. I basically call it, put out the number, 148... Okay, make sure I, you confirm the name to be what is on the account. Make sure you don't pay to a third party. Make sure you're paying to just the same person who you're dealing with, you know. And as soon as I make that payment, I can now click on the button to show that I have paid. Now watch this. There, I've made, I've made the payment on my on my phone. You know, there's a way to contact the merchant, right? If you have made payment and the merchant is not online to discuss with you. As you can see also, there is a time to complete deposit, 15 minutes countdown. You are supposed to complete your deposit within 15 minutes, you know, of initiating it. You can also put a call across, you know, to the merchant as it stands. Now I click on I have made payment. And the next thing is I must have at least two proof of payments e.g. alerts or screenshots. I must have this ready, right? And if your payment is disputed within two hours or cash, um, um, if your payment is disputed, respond within two hours or cash link will release funds to the merchant, right? You know, and then only confirm if you have made payment to the required merchant's bank account and have proof of payment. So you must check in these three to be sure that you have done this you know, and then continue um, to, you know, 
click on continue button. Now the merchant has 24 a minute, 25 minutes or so to confirm that he has received my payment. So that's basically, you know, how the cash link um, um, product works. Obviously, before the end of this conversation, it will come in. Can basically close this and expect the deposit to be completed. You see, your deposit request has been submitted. You can visit it issue to check the other status right i basically bought crypto with cash link the same vein i can withdraw crypto you know i can withdraw you know my naira using cash link okay so another option is to use the p2p option where we will now discuss on that in this slide p2p basically is an interesting way to transact as well on binance um Remember, guys, you are basically going to complete your transaction using Cash Link. You know, once you do that, provide your Binance UID, provide your um, proof that you had joined TG, you know, and then you stand a chance to win some um, um, rebates on your transaction. Okay, let's go to P2P. So let's look at you know P2P trading fundamentals. The idea of P2P means pair-to-pair, -pair, transacting between two persons directly without any form of third party, right? And that's the idea of you know blockchain as it were, right? So you can buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrencies. Crypto current P2P is basically pair-to-pair -pair trading, right? So you have um you have one coin, you want to exchange it for another, or you have coins and you want to exchange it for Naira or Fiat, you can use P2P, right? Um, there are different ways to trade P2P, right? In traditional exchanges, they are like companies, you know, um, would power transactions between two people, you know, banks would power transactions using different payment methods, you know, and they are like, their fees, you know, attached to these transactions, high fees actually. Um, 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 you know, the 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 price is fixed. The fees per se is fixed, very high. You know, um, on in traditional systems as well, there's no privacy. You know, there's no anonymity in your transactions. But in P2P marketplace, there's privacy per se, and you know. It is a limited environment. There's limitation in in terms of what you're trading. Um, if you're trading fiat currencies, you have you shall know that you are going to spend less. You're going to be able to transact less, even for high fees. You know, but with P2P marketplaces, you can transact as much that you want for as little um, and the, the least possible fees, right? So Binance P2P is one of the biggest P2P um, um, ecosystem in the industry. Um, Binance has, you know, the, it's what, the number one crypto P2P uh, marketplace. Um, okay, one second. Um, okay, so one of the reasons why Binance, or some of the reasons why Binance is number one in the marketplace is because of liquidity. You know, we have more than 15,000 verified merchants as well of P2P, and we have more than 50% of the market share in terms of liquidity, and then we have more than 20K daily transactions that are actively going on in P2P. And P2P currently, you know, favors about all of these currencies, about 10 cryptocurrencies are traded on P2P marketplace. You know, there's 300 plus payment methods that are support, supported on Binance P2P across the globe, right? So it's a global thing. And then there are different, you know, fiat currencies that are also available on Binance P2P. Now, why would you want to use Binance P2P? You have zero fees, 
you know, uh, this is different from cash link. Um, cash link is basically fiat to fiat um, transactions. So you are buying, you're using your physical fiat to buy digital fiat, right? But P2P, you use your physical fiat to buy digital cryptocurrencies most of the time. And if you walk up the mass, you discover that it is even better to buy fiat to fiat and then change it to USDT. All right. Um, so similar mission with the Binance ecosystem, making things cheaper, faster, and safer. Um, and then there's the escrow service system that is put in place, the same as Cash Link, right? Where you have the buyer and the seller. The buyer makes payment to the seller. Um, the seller confirms the payments, you know, has, you know, come in. And then, okay, the seller indicates to sell an amount. The amount is locked in an escrow system. The buyer indicates to buy that amount. When the seller confirms that the buyer has paid, the escrow system releases the fund to the buyer. That's how it basically work. Okay. You know, so C plus one withdrawal limits, right? There's like 24 hours, you know, buffer against potential loss. So there's like for transactions where, you know, the, the seller has not confirmed um, um, the receipt of the Naira, the funds are locked, are kept locked until, you know, there's that confirmation. So there's like a T plus one withdrawal limit time frame as well. And there's a ability to post ads, ad posting requirements. So if you want to become a merchant on Binance P2P as well, you need to have like registration time of greater than 30 plus days, right? You should have, you know, registered above 30 days before, you know, complete identity verification and SMS authentication so that you can receive SMS notification of payment. You know, number of completed P2P orders have to be greater than 20. You know, and then, you know, you have a 30-day P2P completion rate of 80% and above, you know, and number of unique trading counterparties should be like 10. So don't, more than 10, actually. Don't trade with just a few people throughout the system. You have to trade with different people in the decentralized ecosystem. I know we are, you know, just like 20 minutes into the conversation. So keep your questions. If you have any questions, keep them. We'll take them shortly. Um, it is safe to trade with Binance P2P, guys. Very, very safe. And we can emphasize them enough because we have built the system such that, you know, the escrow system would not release funds to the other party until the other person has confirmed. So the secret to trading on Binance is do not click on payment confirmation until you are certain that you have received the fund and you have verified it if you are the seller. So there's technical improvement, there's opt optimized risk management algorithms, upgraded um, order matching logic. You know, there's new security filters put in place. There's the block function where, you know, users who violate the systems are blocked permanently for terms of use violation. And there's also the feedback function to give thumbs up to somebody who did a good job trading with you or to give thumbs down as well. There's different people that have testified around you know the globe about using binance p2p you know and it, it just keeps getting keeps getting better right so definitely how binance p2p are used some people think buying and selling of crypto is all that is 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 done on binance p2p but basically it's not so like you can see there's a fiat gateway right where you can use that to pay out like this guy What's his name? Um, this guy is a content writer, right? It's basically easy for him to do to get his funds paid through him through Binance across the globe, paid, you know, maybe USDT paid to him. Um, and then he withdraws on Binance um, um P2P. So it's more like a fiat gateway channel to get you to get fiat from the system. It's also an earning profit um, um opportunity where users can benefit from offering trades on Binance P2P or spread across different exchanges. So basically leveraging the spread option on Binance P2P is a very possi possible profit margin for you. And then with over 80 supported currencies, the idea of remittance is also very possible with Binance P2P. So let me give you an instance. 
if you have two friends, one in China and one in um, the UK, right? And the guy in the UK, okay, let's just say one in China. And the person in China always helps you buy some of the Chinese products you sell. Let's say you sell flax or you sell t-shirts that, that they produce in China. But you don't have a very solid means of sending that person, you know, yen from Nigeria. It's going to be a little stressful, right? But you can use the P2P option to remit, you know, USDT to the person over in China. The person can cash it out, you know, using the fiat gateway available over there and then make purchases for you and send out your goods. That's a possible remittance solution using the Binance P2P product. So these are like different ways to leverage opportunities on Binance as an exchange. Thank you so much, guys, for staying. We are still going to the, um, the top of the conversations. So how to use Binance P2P before you, you know, you have to register on Binance, complete your KYC, enable SMS authentication, and add a payment method. A payment method is basically how you want to get paid, right? And then this is basically how to use Binance um, Pay, Binance P2P, right? So once you set up everything, complete your KYC, add your payment method, and you're good to go. So when you want to choose an offer, there are like a few things you need to consider, you know, before you choose an offer, right? And there's like seven things you should look out for. What is the merchant's nickname? You know, check to see that this merchant is either a verified merchant. A verified merchant has a yellow badge just after their name, right? Check the price that the merchant is displaying his adverts at. Check the quantity that the merchant hopes to sell. Quantity is like for crypto fund, fund he's selling $99 at a price of 0 0.96, no, depending on where he's selling from, right? And check the limit the person has. If, so crypto funk is trading maximum of $96, minimum of $15, right? Check the trades the person have executed. Crypto funk has executed 895 trades, right? And then check the completion rate, percentage completion rate is 99.89% for crypto fund. And then check the payment methods available, you know, on the platform. In this case, you want to be sure that he, crypto fund accepts, you know, the kind of payment methods you are able to make payments with. So that's basically that, you know, three things to look out for in an adverse profile, right? You know, look out to check to be sure that this person is good. An advertiser's, you know, profile, right? Check. Be sure that this person is good to go. And, you know, look out for the feedback he has gotten. He has gotten 471 feedback, Some of most of which are positive. Let me zoom in a bit so that you can see. No, I can't. I cannot, right? 471 feedback, most of which are positive. You know, check the person's completion rate as well. And before you take a trade, right? So there are different kinds of, you know, P2P users. There are different people and there are different ways to make choices, for, you know, from choosing out of them. First of all, you want to look at the verified user, the verified merchant, the cash merchant, the block merchant, and the pro merchant. The block and pro merchant are for big volume traders, right? People that do heavy volumes, you will be linked to work with those guys, right? The verified user, the verified merchant, and the cash merchant are basically trading, you know, the smallest of volumes, you know, to considerable amounts, right? And then, you know, you can choose, you know, who can, how to choose an offer, you know, uh, you, from a P2P verified user or something, right? Um. Yeah, there are different people on P2P platform, P people who are just beginners in terms of just starting out to trade. You want to encourage them by trading with them, especially if they have good completion rates. Like Kotrus is basically a new trader with 125 trades. He just started off his career. You can support him if he has good completion and good feedback. Um, um, you also want to look at for whether or not they have completed KYC, you know, and they've added their payment method and all of that, right? So basically, P2P is your strong forte. It's also a good one um, 
to to use as alongside cash link i want to try and cut through all of these details there's so many details here all right so there are like these are the zones in p2p products right the p2p zones where you choose an offer now this is the recommended place for new users if you're not good enough you're not good enough at selecting good you know um um users from the system play along with the express zone the p2p express zone allows the system to match you to the best possible buyer or seller per time depending on what you want to do and then the p2p zone itself allows you to see and make your choice manually then the p2p block zone allows you to relate with you know big volume traders as it were right so this is the p2p zone right the p2p zone is designed for people who know how to trade you know who want to do the due diligence themselves who want to look at the merchants or the users and select who they want to transact with but the p2p express zone um okay the express zone here shows you just put the amount you want to buy or sell and then it will show you somebody who will trade with you automatically this other one shows you select yourself this one as well you select yourself to sell to them okay um there are different ways to get to the p2p on the app the first is to go on the home page if you see the home page select on p2p trading and you'll be directed to the next slide which shows you the options to buy and sell on p2p so how to select a zone is to click at click at the top of this part to click on this you see the express feature and then you can play with that and then to buy you just enter the amount like i did um it is created and you make the payments and all of that so that's basically how to transact using binance p2p but like i said guys you know these are like just initial learnings for for all of us um on the product so let's go to how to finalize how to secure your account how to secure your account um how to secure your account on binance right they're like a million and one reasons why this topic should be taught every time we have this call um so going forward make sure to make this available to everyone there are different ways to secure accounts on binance right first of all you should need to set up an email verification an email verification prompts you whenever somebody is trying to log into your account using your email right it always prompts you and requires you to authenticate such login um request you can then also set up the google authentication verification this is also another second another you know strong gate you know gate point for anybody trying to gain access into your account you need to have google authentication verification we'll show you how to set that up shortly and then you need to set up you know your mobile and sms verification as well when you set this up if the, even if the person bypasses your email verification except the person has your phone in their hands they cannot log in until they get access via sms also they said they have your google authenticator code they cannot log in as well so having different layers of security keeps your account safe at all times so even if the person scales layer one and layer two layer three will be difficult to get to the other security measures you can put in place what one of them is the ub key where you buy like a hundred dollar worth of security hardware and then you bind it to your fingerprint such that if or your fingerprint or your phone permission so that if you don't permit it via fingerprint you don't nobody gets access and then you can set up anti-phishing code where you know there are a lot of people that are trying to mimic what binance is doing and try to scam on unsuspecting binance users right if you tap on anti-phishing code on your binance profile it will prevent you from getting all those codes on your account all right so to set up your security is to go to your profile again and then click on security once you do all of that you would see that you can set up a security key using the ub key like we talked about look at what it looks like um you can do this and then you can use the google authenticator as well in this case it is already turned on you can use the authentic sms authentication and then you can use the email verification if you turn on turn on 
like three of these, at least three of them per time, your account is as good as very, very safe. Now, the anti-phishing code, look at it by the right-hand side. If you enable this, you know, by setting up an anti-phishing code, you will be able to tell if your notification emails are coming from Binance or phishing attempts. That's to say, to let you know that, okay, this is not actually from Binance, you know, um, server. Be careful with this link, you know, and stuff like that. Um, okay. And then, basically, how to secure your Google, Google Authenticator. So, first of all, you want to turn on your Google Authentication. The first thing you want to do is download the Google Authenticator on your Android or iOS. How many of you have done this? How many of you have your Google Authentication code set up? I want to be able to, I want to be sure that, you know, you guys have actually done it. If you haven't done it, be careful. You know, you need to set it up, you know, before you continue using your account so that you don't get stressed. Good. So a lot of people would have done it by now. Okay, cool. If you have not set it up, let me know so that I know that I'm, there's somebody I'm talking to on this call. Um, great. Okay, so yeah, we're getting there. Somebody says the passive income for newbies, what are they? Are they one day we are getting there? That will come in shortly at the end of this conversation and you see it, you know? Cool. Somebody says I've not set mine. Sandra, you need to set it up and let's, let's look through how to set it. Mohammed, you need to set it up. So Michael says, I don't like that Google authentication. And that is, that is actually, he has a point because once you do not store your key very well, you could easily lose access to your Google authentication code. So I'm going to show us how to go about this and then we'll take it from there, all right? So the first thing you want to do is um, download the Google Authenticator from Apple Store or Play Store. And then this is the key. So you want to be able to copy this key. This key where it says F-I-O-B-G. This is a key. It's like a 16 um, alphanumeric key that you need to store to be able to log in that account into Google Authenticator app. So you either scan this code in fact, I would recommend you copy it out first into some place safe and then scan the code, right? Once you scan the code on your Binance app, you would be able to provide, you know, um, you see, it says save this key on paper. This key will allow you to recover your Google Authenticator in case of phone loss. So whenever you lose your phone, you need this key to be able to restore right to be able to restore your account whichever you choose to use just make sure you have the key stored somewhere okay so once you have done that once you you know done that you you scan the code from binance into the google authenticator app you cannot impute what you can now impute this code you see a one minute timer showing you some six code six digits that displays and you know clears out every one minute you cannot copy this code and paste as your google verification code right remember the first step is download the app and then use the app to scan your code from binance because remember you, you clicked on you want to turn this on once you click on turn on it will show you this barcode. Click on, you know, scan. Scan it with your Google Authenticator, and then you are back in, right? Back up your code by copying this FIOBG and storing somewhere. And then to confirm the code is working or bound to your account, copy this code from the Google Authenticator, paste it in your Google verification code, you know, channel, and click on submit, right? The same thing for um, the same way you want to verify your SMS verif your verification. You know, you need to impute the number, impute your phone number, click on send SMS verification, and then you'll be able to get the code that you paste in the um the 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 box there. 
and then you can click on submit as well. So once you set up all of those security measures, you have an opportunity to verify your code three times. So this the, the hierarchy is always putting the code that expires um, earliest, put them last. So for, for Google Authenticator, that code always expires in one minute. So let it be the last code you paste there. Meanwhile, get your SMS code, paste, get your verification code, your email verification code, paste it as well, and then go to your Google um, Authenticator app, copy the code and paste it within one minute and click submit. Once you do that, you're good to go. These are UB keys. What UB keys look like? You know, some people use it for to verify their accounts. Some people, some of them, um, big companies use it to protect, you know, their their you their um staff ac accounts and systems. You can basically buy that as well. And then until you put in your your thumbprint, nobody will be able to access your account. So you see anti-phishing code. If you want to enable this, all you need to do is to create an anti-phishing code, you know, confirm your code, you know, as created, and then submit as well. And then that way you have an anti-phishing code on your emails. Every email you have, you see the code displayed as well. Now, somebody asked, somebody was asking, what are the passive ways to earn as a new user. Very good. Now, as a new user, you want to make sure you are first learning. You are learning a whole lot about the blockchain ecosystem. And one of the ways to benefit from learning is to join the Binance Affiliate Program, one of the most lucrative partnership deal in crypto today. Let me show you why. Um, benefits of the Binance Affiliate Program is that there's up to 50% commission available to you as an affiliate, right? So if you bring one person to Binance, there's possibility of splitting all the revenue that that person is making for Binance. There's a possibility that Binance splits it with you up until 50% in commission um, splits, right? There is access to over $72,000 monthly bonus for affiliates. Depending on your level of influence, you can end up to 72K, you know, in the system. There's exclusive content, right? You get access to ex exclusive trading competitions, participate in webinars, you know, be retweeted by our accounts. There's more like that's more like, you know, social media, you know, uh, ver ver verification. You get, you know, some, what do you call it? You know, authenticity in some form of verification from Binance social media accounts and all of that. And then you have, you're growing your lifetime earning possibilities, right? Where you have an avenue for every 1,000 people you bring that do trade volumes that give a, maybe let's say they do trade volumes that give $10,000 profit. You are splitting it with Binance depending on the percentage of your commission. So it's more like a passive way to earn, you know, on the exchange. Another passive ways to grow with Binance is the Binance Angel system. Um, the Binance Angel system, one of the strongest and oldest systems as instituted by CZ himself, right? Where people who do not necessarily work with Binance as staff, but are, are so passive about the community, so passionate about the community, and they want to assist. Those guys are called the Binance Angels. They sign up to the program, they help to you know support in the in whatever capacities they can on Telegram, on all of our communities, and in different you know um, um, webinars and Twitter Spaces conversations. They they support, they answer questions, they solve problems, they bring they escalate C, um, series and issues to the team, and you know in turn they are recognized in different ways. So. One of the good ways to recognize the Binance Angels is what we call the Binance Launchpad, right? The Launchpad is more like making available, you know, some token allocation, allocating some tokens to angels, you know, during maybe possible listing on the on the Binance Exchange. It is a Launchpad ongoing and is about to be listed shortly. You know, Binance Angels have one of the first opportunities to be 
the the early earliest set of buyers, right? So that's one of the you know um, ideas or benefits there. Another one is they have exclusive travel access, you know, for global events, right? Even Binance staff and team members do not have as much access as the angels do when it comes to travels and events. So basically, um, those are like two things you want to look out for in the ecosystem. Um, and join us on Telegram, right? Follow us at Binance Nigeria on Telegram. Follow us on Twitter as well at Binance Africa on Twitter and IG at Binance Africa underscore so that you can get the um, most recent news and everything that is trending in the ecosystem. Remember, even though we are available on Telegram, Binance admin will never chat to you first. Binance admin will never chat to you first. All you need to know is until you chat to an admin, an admin would not request, will not chat to you, and they will not request your, your private details. They would only support you to assist you, to show you what to do and how to get the solutions you require. And then, even after chatting to an admin, you still want to chat to Binance support, you can't feel free to do so. Um, you can read our Binance Frequently Asked Questions in the FAQ uh, link. You can go to Binance Announcements and read about the announcements. You can go to Customer Support and chat to support live. You know, there's no extra support outside the system. So even the angels and the, the team, the team members cannot support you outside of Binance support system. So what they do is they basically communicate what you have said or what your challenges are to the support team and the support team assists. And then they revert back to you and you know share your solutions with you. So you basically don't want to get too comfortable with anybody as much as giving them your private details. Right, so be wary of impersonators, scammers, and you know possible airdrops that are not linked to Binance. Some people want to even leverage the idea of oh, Binance, uh, we we built using the Binance chain. If you like, do anything you want to do. As far as Binance has not put it on this platform as part of its services, do not interact with those kinds of people. I think we are so much on time. It's just four minutes past six. And we're able to cover this much. Thank you guys for your time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few questions um, from the Q&A chat box. Um, if you have questions in the Q&A chat box. Um, so Peter asks a very interesting question. Peter in many cases, another area I'm yet to understand is the unidentified Satoshi Nakamoto, creating something people identified with this ideology with 100% trust, right? What's the brain behind the trust? Thank you so much for that question. Actually, Satoshi Nakamoto built a trustless system. One of the challenges that has been plaguing the world today is the fact that we need somewhere, we need who we can trust. So the reverse psychology is how about we have a system where I do not need to worry about trusting anyone, right? A system that works by itself. Think of smart contracts, where if, if I, I and you, Peter, maybe Peter, I, I was a painter, I am, I'm into painting, and then you just built your build, a beautiful mansion. And you gave me the contract to paint that mansion. And yes, you see my portfolio, I can paint. In fact, I'm one of the best in my area, right? But you, we had an agreement that you pay me 50% upfront and you in fact paid. But on the day I was supposed to commence painting, you know, I got ill. Let's not, let's not make it too difficult. I got ill and I couldn't start. And I began to spend the money you sent me for painting. I began to spend it on drugs, right? That's a justifiable cause, right? But Peter, with the blockchain and smart contracts, I will not be able to spend that money until you have verified that your job, the reason for which you paid me has been completed. So a system where there's no need to trust anybody is what the blockchain is. As you, Like I said, if I made a transaction with you now, 
everybody sees the transaction. There's nothing hidden. That's a better system where there's so many backend fees as opposed to systems where there's so many backend fees. You can't really ID it and say, oh, what exactly am I paying this amount for? You know, take, you know, the international remittance as a case study. You don't even know why you are paying so much and so much time is involved to complete a transaction, right? So these are things that you want to look at. If you're looking at the ideology, you know, in, in, in reality, it is basically a trustless system. People want to, people do not want to be saddled with the responsibility to trust each other. People want to be able to do stuff without having to trust themselves. And that is why the blockchain is very, very vital in this present day. Um, let me take another, I hope that answered your question, Peter. Um, okay. Somebody's answering. I think Umar is helping answer a question around how to end passively on Binance, where, you know, he mentioned the Binance auto invest system, where that system allows you to invest automatically um i think periodically as you as you spe specify and those investments are good especially when you are when you are holding for the long term so the idea in the crypto industry is there are people who trade for short term there are people who hold cryptocurrencies for a longer term the question is where do you find yourself if you are a person that holds crypto for a long term it means you do not need that money immediately or urgently you would not need it urgently so you can afford to you know just keep your funds there and hope on a very good returns in a very distant time meanwhile there are other people who like to trade short term they like to put in their money today remove it next week buy food and survive right those kind of people might not necessarily be involving themselves with the finance auto invest because the auto invest is basically taking a chunk of your spot wallet chunk of just the amount in your spot wallet and investing it and storing it in form of crypto for you. The benefit of auto investment is possible volatility of the market. It's a two-way, it's a two-edged sword. The market can go up and you are profitable in no time. The market can go down and you have forced to hold. That's why I said people who make good profits in auto invest system are people who do not need their monies almost immediately, right? Um, anonymous attendees asking, I'm really a newbie and the class was speedy. How can I learn about this whole blockchain thing? Anonymous attendee, your answer is in Binance Academy, right? Binance Academy app, download the app or go on academy.binance.com, you know, and start your learning. It is self-paced environment. Whenever you are free, if you are working class, whenever you're free, you can jump of, you know, take a break, just read an article, read two articles, watch a video and stuff like that. And then you can start from there. And with, within two, three months, you're very, you're used to everything we are saying, right? So this is actually a very good question. Somebody says, I just did the cash link transaction, but I need to understand what happens after I've made payments, you know? And I didn't click, I have paid. Then my phone went off. Okay, so you made payments using Cash Link, but before the, that, that question is actually very funny, right? <laughs> because why are you transacting when your phone is going off, <laughs> right? And you know these are like split second things. You see, I did mine. I did mine within five minutes, right? So first of all, don't transact when your phone is about to go off, right? If you are trying to you know withdraw money so that you can. Buy, you can pay for fuel to charge the phone. That's a different thing. But I, I always have power on your phone when you want to transact. It's the same thing when you're trading. You don't want to keep yourself at handicap when you're doing entering a trade, right? You need to have network. You need to have, you need to be spot on so that you can jump in and jump out at the right time, right? So if that happened to you, right, when you were charging your phone, uh, there's a place where you can appeal the transaction, right? Because you did not click, you have made payments, the other person cannot click, cannot authorize the system to release the funds to you. So you have to find a way to appeal the transaction. The transaction will still be pending. Remember, there's like, even though it says there's like a two hour return policy, 
there's still the possibility of you know appealing your transaction and then the support system would require the seller to bring his statement the buyer to bring his statement as well in most cases right if not majority of the cases these these vendors these merchants are very very trustworthy right and they would agree with you that they have not um they have seen your payments but they have not gotten the opportunity to confirm payments and then you know support will re release your naira assets to you when your phone is charged and back on okay all right so yes everyone asking for this audio recording this class is also happening live on facebook and would have it you know you know uploaded to youtube as well in the end of at the end of the call we'll have it uploaded to youtube as well so yes look out for that on facebook and on youtube and then we'll share it to all the users who registered via uid we'll share it to your emails as well as your uids okay so somebody's asking what is the link for the Binance Academy, right? Hold on, academy.binance.com. Let me just be sure. I'll open a new tab and, and paste that there. Right? You can search Binance Academy or academy.binance.com. So you can see you'd see you have direct access to you know all of the courses you know available to help you grow from being just a novice to being you know a a very solid binance um uh, blockchain enthusiast right let me paste that as well on on facebook so yes you can start as start off as a beginner you can start off, let me see. Um, you can start off as you know a beginner trying to understand crypto, trying to understand blockchain, trying to understand trading, trying to understand investing, and trying to understand privacy. There are different layers to these things. And we teach about all of them. We try to cover the majority in our monthly newbie walkthrough. All right. Um Oh, I hope you got the the link to the on YouTube. Okay, so that's the question I've finally answered. Somebody said finally made a successful deposit through CashLink. Congratulations, Haruna. And yes, if, remember, guys, if you made a deposit, you still need to complete this form. You still need to complete this form. Remember the the criteria is to be on this call. We only share this form via the call. Right, copy it. Right, be on the call. Um, completed transaction. Oops, my system is hanging. I think I shared it before. Complete the transaction, and then complete. Paste your UID in the form. Once you send us your UID, we'll tra try to be sure. And if you fall in the lucky guys, you know, who are getting it. Yeah, I pasted the form before. I'll paste it again. Make sure you complete this form and stand the chance to, to, to earn some cashback rewards, courtesy Binance, newbie walk through Nigeria. All right. Let me see if I can take one question or two questions from the attendees on zoom i would allow one or two people that raise their hands to talk so just two people and then we can end the call today if you're on the call and you like to ask a question directly directed at me just let me know so umar is asking is the reward going to be sent to the spot wallet directly so it's sent to your funding wallet, right? There's a, in, in fact, it's sent to your fiat and spot wallet because when you credit your, you know, your fiat, there's a fiat. Let me show it to you. Let me quickly show you. So in your wallet, there is 
in your wallets, right? There is what is called fiat and sports. Right, fiat and sports. I'm trying to go there. Oh, the network is actually bad. But you see this fiat and sport, you see where you can see your Naira, your Ghana CDs, wherever you are, and then you see your crypto account as well. So yes, you'd see it in your fiat and sport wallet. Um, okay, I've seen two hands already. Um, if young, I'm going to allow you to talk very briefly, unmute yourself and ask your question. So those asking about the form, I just posted the form in the webinar chat group. Check the webinar chats again. If you can go ahead. Okay. Um, I, I have a question actually. And okay. okay. I've actually used uh, the cash link to make a deposit before. And at the end mm -hmm. of the day, I realized it was almost the same thing as using the P2P. Because after mm -hmm. buying the fiat, after getting the fiat in my wallet, I still had to convert it to the uh, the stable BUSD, which I used in the in the trading. So now mm -hmm. I haven't really since after that day, I haven't really made use of the cash link. And my question is: Is there any advantage? Maybe I didn't see it, or I didn't actually uh, get it mm -hmm. of the of the cash link over the P2P. Yeah, yeah. that particular question, the last question is very smart and I would advise you to do is further research to see. But yes, if you trade regularly on spot, you'll be able to spot the advantage. That's another, that's the answer to the question, but I'm not going to give you the details, right? But I, the idea is simple to make the on RAM channels available to us very, to make as many on-run channels available to us. And then the, what is the difference between P2P um, by crypto and then fiat by crypto? On P2P, you are giving a fiat amount that is quoted against a dollar rate, right? Yes. But on fiat, on cash link, you are giving a Naira amount that is quoted against the Naira. So if Naira is one Naira today, you are buying one Naira for one Naira. You're only paying a Naira fee. So yeah. what you yeah. want to check is, assuming you buy 10,000 Naira worth of um, NGN from Cashlink, what you will check to be sure is buy NGN 10,000 Naira now, then go to P2P and buy NGN, you know, and then convert the two of them separately to USDT and see which gives you more. That's the giveaway. I'm not going to say more than that. Yeah, okay, okay. I'll try that. I'll check that out later. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Efian. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Um, the next person is Umar. Umar raised his hand. Umar, please unmute yourself and ask your question. Oh, good day, good day everyone. Good day, Omar. How's it going? Actually, my question is that someone was just asking uh, how does his how will he uh, redeem his reward in Octo events? That's why I was telling him that it is going to be sent to his port wallet directly. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, yes, it actually goes to your spot. You basically will be seeing your spot value going up, going up, right? When you're when you're redeeming. Thank you so much, Omar. Um, the next person and the last person is Christabel Tekuma. Christabel, unmute yourself and ask your questions, please. Christabel, are you there? Yeah, good evening. Thank you very much. Yeah, I've asked my question and answer, so thank you. I'm good. Okay, cool. Thank you as well. Thank you so much for speaking. Um, okay, in that note, I think we have Adewale. He just raised his hand just to make sure we have three people speak. Adewale, unmute yourself and ask. Yeah, um, sorry. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Hello, can you hear me? We can hear okay, you. So, uh... Yeah, I wanted to have a guy that was asking me the question. 
Um, Did you speak up a bit, Adewale? All right. Hello, can you hear me now? Yes. All right. I was saying that I use I use partially a lot um against the people against the people. But before before Cashman came, yeah, yeah, I was always right. against the people. After he came, I noticed oh, I that there's a spot by for US to go to Naira. So you can actually yeah. go there and buy the exact way that you yeah, will you prefer to buy your to buy your US to US. So, so that's what that's one advantage that I, that I see over. So that's just what I wanted to just to do. So, yeah. All right, all right. Thank you so much. Um Adewale, I think you have already seen the secrets, makes a lot of sense. Um yes, like he said, the, there is a direct pairing with the NGM. So there's an NGM pair on the spot trading side. And when you buy with the NGN on cash link, you are pairing up, you know, you're using the valuation on that exchange pair, right? There's a little spread activity going on there, Shah, just to put that out. So basically you want to try it out, keep trying, and then you see possible um, ways to earn using cash link as well. I mean, that's basically it. Um, uh, somebody says the disadvantage is the charges, the fees is too high, one hundred fifty now. So <laughs> you are comparing it with P2P. P2P is crypto fees, right? You know, <laughs> but this is basically NGN, Naira to Naira. And I think one of the updates on the product is that it has been made to be very stable across, you know, some uh, amount, deposit or withdrawal limit. So I think currently for a large amount you're withdrawing and even for a small amount, the fee is the same. It's around the same thing. Anyways, but let's 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 reconvene next time. We'd we'll come back again. Somebody asked when is the next class? The next class would now focus on how to use the Binance interface, right? Right now, we studied on different ways to make profitability on the Binance interface. We studied about different ways to on-ramp and off-ramp your crypto and fiat. You know, next class, which is next week, every Friday this happens. For the next four weeks, we'll be having detailed conversations to help you move from where you are to where you want to be. Um, so we'll show you how to use the markets, the trade options, the Binance end features, and a little around the NFTs in the coming conversation. Thank you so much for your time. And do well, like I said, to join our Binance Telegram group. If you're not on Binance Telegram, look for Binance Telegram on Niger Binance Nigeria on Telegram. Join the group and be a part of the conversation. If you want to apply to become an angel, you know, for Binance, just Google Binance Angel Program, and you'll be able to see different. Uh, you'll be able to see the option to sign up for the program, right? And that's basically how to get on, um, to get actively involved at Binance. Thank you so much for your time, and have a great evening.